Dr. Myers, it's hard to believe it's been 20 years since Hurricane Katrina devastated parts of the Gulf Coast, including New Orleans. Take us back to 2005. AccuWeather was the only known source to forecast that Katrina would be a real problem a week before the storm hit, and importantly, three days before landfall, AccuWeather warned of a catastrophe in the making in New Orleans. What impact did that forecast and messaging have on enabling people to make the best decisions? Well, obviously we saved thousands of lives. That was one of AccuWeather's most dramatic forecasts, maybe the most dramatic forecast we've ever made. And uh, fortunately, a lot of people listened to our forecast and took action. Katrina making land you may recall that uh, uh, no one else was predicting the kind of catastrophe or anything like it that we were saying. We said uh, before the storm hit, 50 to 70 percent of the city of New Orleans would be underwater for days or weeks. We were interviewed on all the networks. It was news. Our forecast was news because of the catastrophe that we were predicting uh, beyond what anybody else was even contemplating. Fortunately, thousands of people took our advice and left. We got so many cards and notes from people that said, thank goodness, uh, it's because of you. I saved my aunt, my grandmother. This, I got them out. They didn't want to leave uh, because our forecast was such an outlier. But we take our forecasting, uh, and especially warnings, so seriously here at AccuWeather. We were challenged on all the networks because mm -hmm. it was news that we were predicting such a dramatic uh, result. But this was a Category 5 hurricane that was, uh, and we evaluated what it was going to do. Uh, we predicted that the, the strong winds over 100 miles an hour plus torrential rains were going to break the levees north of New Orleans, which is what happened. And the water came rushing in. And uh, nobody else predicted that. People listened to us. Uh, we're safe. I'll never forget the debate. I happen to be working uh, broadcast uh, shift in the early morning hours when our team made that decision about using that strong wording to talk about 50 to 75 percent of the city underwater and the debate that we undertook to arrive at that because as you know as you mentioned Dr. Myers we know we knew the, the magnitude of saying that. We evaluate everything and it, it, we have an awesome responsibility to people that listen to us and trust our forecast. It's an awesome responsibility we take very seriously and uh, don't overplay or underplay every event. And you know the kind of debates that go on uh, among the team with all the experts uh, with the decades of experience each uh, to arrive at not only the forecast, but how it's conveyed, communicated, so that people make the right decision, especially when lives are at stake. AccuWeather has estimated the total damage and economic loss from Hurricane Katrina is $320 billion adjusted for inflation. What are some of the many ways that uh, the storm's impacts have uh, still resulted in hardships for people and businesses in the 20 years since and the long, particularly the long tail of economic and health impacts? Yeah, many, one thing we consider in our estimates and others don't is just what you said, that long tail, the businesses that are wiped out, the jobs that are lost permanently. Uh, the damage that's done uh, that, that takes years, infrastructure to rebuild, uh, the uh, illness, and then the, the impact that has on the longevity of the community. So this was a major disaster, uh, no question about it. After the storm, Congress officially recognized AccuWeather as the only forecast source to provide more advanced warning on Katrina's impacts. And that uh, bipartisan report argued the extra time could have aided evacuation of the region. What did that recognition mean to AccuWeather? It was extremely rare and extraordinary for Congress to do that. And to my knowledge, this is the only time in the history of the United States that Congress has uh, bestowed that praise on any private source of weather forecasting. So. Uh, AccuWeather is delighted to have been recognized so for the work that we did. Thanks very much for joining us and sharing all your thoughts about this historic storm. My pleasure, John, as always. Yep.